Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the 11th Kiwi Basics tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be talking about adding our, uh, I don't know, drawing application to this little application here and using the buttons to go back and forth between the application and say the home screen or whatever. You could envision it being a game or, I don't know, stock prices or what, pretty much whatever you wanted. So. Uh, this is what we left off with, and now we're basically the. This will be our. This will be our home screen, and then we'll rename next screen to be I don't know draw. Okay, so let's close out of this and go ahead and get started. So this is actually going to be fairly simplistic. Um, I've now I'm using main dot, main two dot kv, so I'm going to change this the loader to main two now dot kv, uh, and that should be the only thing I have to change. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So uh, how do we actually? Uh, make these changes and move forward. So first we're going to need our actual uh, drawing application. So I'm just going to rewrite it. It's a pretty quick write anyways. So uh, we had a class. It was, we'll call this, we call it painter, I guess, or I think we called it draw or something before. And it actually needs to inherit from widget, which we haven't imported. So let's actually make our the necessary imports as well. So first we want to have from kiwi.uix.widget we're going to import widget uh, then we need we're also going to need line and we'll be using buttons and we'll because well, we only use the button in here most likely I think we'll get away without importing button uh, so then uh, from kiwi dot uh, graphics import line actually that's capital L line okay so now we're ready to continue on with our painter, uh, inheriting from widget, and now we're going to define the on touch down. So again, ask yourself where does on touch down actually come from? Um, is that our code or their code? Next, self touch again. Is that like my code or is that their code? Hmm. Then we're going to say with self dot canvas. More is that my code or their code? Touch UD, and then the element here that we want is line equals capital line, and then the points are equal to touch dot x and touch whoops touch dot y. And uh, if this feels like it's going too fast for you, go back like three tutorials. I think is where we actually built this originally, uh, so you can go back there and see how that. How it was done if you want more explanation there. Then again, we have on define on underscore touch underscore move self dot or self uh, comma touch and uh, touch dot ud line dot points plus equals and touch x comma touch y. Okay. And that's basically it. Uh, we're not going to write anything else here. This should all be acceptable. So this is our little widget, right? Same widget that we had before. And now what we want to do is add this widget to our kind of screen changing uh, that we've already got. So we want this widget painter in another screen. But we actually don't have to do that via this file. We're going to do it via the Kiwi file. So in another screen we'll get rid of button for now we'll eventually have a button there just to, oops, just to do it uh, but for now we're not gonna have anything we're just gonna say name other and then we add our fun or our uh, painter class here so we should just be able to say just painter nothing more so it would be as if we were actually adding the painter into another screen down here uh, but we're, we're not really. But anyway, it's a, it's a painter widget, and we're adding it to another screen. So, uh, whoops, let's save that and run this. And hopefully this works out. So we go to the next screen, and sure enough, we are able to draw. Yay. Okay, so that's how we were able to add just a simple little widget that we had built. Um, initially, that widget was just heading straight into this page. Um, but this one obviously has uh, you know, sort of multiple pages. But now you might wonder, OK, what if we want to get back to the main page? Like, What if this was like a settings page, and you wanted the user to be able to get back 
to the main page you need to have another button on here so I think that's what we'll do in the next video we'll add a button to go kind of back and forth kind of like we did before only the button took up the whole page and in fact uh, there will be no new code in the next video as far as adding a button is concerned. I encourage you to go ahead and try to see if you can add a button, just a small button. Uh, I think we'll pu probably put ours up in maybe in the top here uh, to go back home. But just try to add your own small button and see if you can. And if you can't, then obviously you can still check the, the next video. So anyways, that's what we'll do in the next video. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.